Hello everybody, welcome to Data Visualization with Python Laboratory. This is an Ability Enhancement course. So today in this video we are going to see about program number 4B that is how to plot a scattered plot using a matplotlib. Let us see the syllabus, then we will see the code. Here is the syllabus. The program number 4B says that write a Python program to demonstrate how to draw a scattered plot using a matplot lib. I'll open Jupyter Notebook. I'll type and show you the program. For this, what do we want? We want the matplotlib. I'll import that. Import matplotlib dot py plot. I'll give a shortcut name for it. As PLT can give anything. Okay. Now, I want to plot the points in x axis and the y axis. So I'll take uh, the distribution x. I'll take some values, say 5, comma 8, comma 10, comma 12, comma 15, 23, say 50, comma 23, comma. Some values I'll take randomly. Or you can use a random function of that also I'll show you. So I'll take a y, say 89, comma 96. 23, 26, randomly you take how many values are there that the numbers you take. <coughs> okay, now let me count how many values 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, 9 values I have taken in the x, 9 in the y. Now, I will uh, uh, call the function called uh, scatter by using a plt dot uh, scatter what I want to plot I want to plot uh, x and y then I will call the function called show to display my graph on the screen that's it only five line program I will run this you will get the scattered plot graph so for that you should uh, you know, know how to change the color of the dots, how to um, you know si increase the size, everything. Now here we got it, nine points. Now what I'll do is I'll uh, reduce I mean reduce the size of it. In the last program we have seen uh, how to set the size. Plt dot figure figure uh, then there is an attribute called a uh, figure size fig size is equal to say I'll give a 4 comma 2 run this now we got a, the uh, scatter plot see if you want to uh, change the size of these dots you can give uh, uh, the marker called a uh, s s indicate the size size is equal to say 10 now you can see the size is reduced if you want uh, uh, say 30 you can give that or if you want uh, 50 you can give you can change the size like this then or if you want to change the color you can change it there is a attribute called uh, a marker called uh, uh, C then you can uh, give uh, uh, I want red I'll give that now you can see the dot color is changed to red Okay. Now, I don't want all the dots should get the red. I want uh, each dot should get uh, the different color. For that, I'll use one array here. I mean one list. I'll use one list called uh, say colors is equal to how many? Nine are there, no? Nine. Uh, some value I'll use. I'll use color map here. I'll tell you what is that color map. In that, uh, I'll use some value say 10. 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 78, between 0 to 100 you have to use and then 65, how many, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9 dots are there, I use 9 colors, 
okay then i will tell here for the c for the color what i'll do is uh, c is equal to i'll give this variable name that is the color that means apply these colors apply these colors um, on these dot and what are this color what are this color there is a color map color uh, map the color map shortcut names are there so that name you have to give so the, we, i'm giving uh, one uh, vi r i d i s this is one shortcut name where it is uh, this name i'm giving and uh, from this this is the color map which indicate the color from 0 to 100 the 0 is purple the 100th value is yellow so different color maps are there that that i'll change and show you now i'll run this you can see each dot will get the color based on the value we have given here from this color map understood okay uh, let me show you that color map uh, here if you want to see that color map what you can do is you can use plt dot plt dot uh, color bar color uh, bar function and if you run this you can see that uh, color map see here the purple is at zero and hundred uh, places we have uh, the yellow color done yeah now let me uh, give you one different another uh, color map let's say there is a color map called brbg br bg capital b r b and a capital g now run this you can see here see here this is one more color map like uh, we have uh, uh, b u p u b u p u okay see here this is one more like the different uh, many color maps are there you just explore it okay and uh, make it a uh, yeah, attractive graph you can give the x value y value all those things we have seen in the uh, previous program I refer the previous program give the x label y label and the title everything done students thank you thank you so much